What's up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3, and we are going to be... I'm gonna go ahead and say it straight up right in the beginning of the video, uh, because some people sometimes have a few issues with these types of builds, but we're gonna be V12 swapping and twin turboing the Sesto Elemento. Now, before you freak out and run to the comment section that V12 swaps are the worst thing in human existence, if you want to see a full build of the V10 in this car, I have a video of that on my channel. You can head over there and check that out. Um, if you are still interested in seeing the V12 build, continue watching. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this build started. Now, right now we have the fully built V10 in there. We're, what we're going to go ahead and follow it up with is the V12 swap followed by twin turbochargers. Now, at this point, um, I'm also, you know what I'm also actually going to do? We're going to remove some weight. We're going to remove some weight and make the thing weigh almost 2,000 pounds. It weighs 2,037 pounds. Now, is this a bit of a, is this a bit of a, like a, like a suicide mission? It might be. With this much power and this little weight, it might not be the world's best idea. But you know what? We're going for big numbers with this car. We're going to go for as big big as big of a number as we can. Um, horsepower is up to 1,515. Torque is up to 1,101 foot-pounds. And we're going to take this thing out on the highway and see if it has the potential to be one of the fastest cars in the game uh, just ever. It just ever in Forza Horizon 3. And uh, it who knows? Who knows, dude? It could. It has the potential. So let's check the tune and let's oh crap we didn't do the didn't do the drivetrain we need to go back and do the drivetrain. It's funny you always forget that after you swap an engine well you're not always but sometimes you end up forgetting after you swap an engine that you need to completely redo the drivetrain. I don't know it's like I get excited about going out and trying the engine out and then I don't realize that you have to rebuild the drivetrain entirely so um, but that's just something that you would have to do anyway when you swap an engine. So, well, not always, depending on if you've got adapters and all that kind of stuff, but that's not really Forza related. So, anyways, let's go ahead and head into the tuning setup. We'll check the simulated top speed and all that kind of stuff. Current top speed, it says the gearing will limit it to 240.3. I'm going to reduce the final drive to, let's try 331 and see what happens. I actually reduced our 0 to 60 time and increased our top speed to 267 flat. So reduce it a little bit more and see how that affects our top speed. 271.5. Little bit more. 271.7. It's getting better. It's getting it's it's getting better actually. I'm gonna keep going until it starts to go back down, and then I'm gonna go and test it out. 271.7. It's not affecting the zero to sixty at all. 271.6. Okay, let's put it like at a 3.0. So that sits it at 271.7 miles an hour supposedly. Now. Those are not always the best, uh, like, numbers. They're not always the most accurate numbers. So you have to get it out, like, out on the highway and see. First place we're going to take it is the runway, and then we're going to head to the highway after that. Hello, sir. I will say, I am babying the throttle heavily right now. I'm probably a quarter throttle, and it's still trying to spin the back tires. So this is really going to be a handful to drive, I think. Or at least really has the potential to be. Alright, let's turn around the other way. Just verify real quick. What, 32 pounds of boost? Okay. Just as a test, let's put it in 6th gear and floor it. We're floored in 6th gear. See if it spins the rears. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so it, w it won't spin the rears in 6th, which is good, so we at least have traction in one gear. No, it's too high, it still just blows the tires off. You have to ride 4th out, which is not normal. I'm gonna cross the traps at what? Come on! 
270.99 miles an hour. And that beat my overall personal best. So if we can get a better, uh, if we can get a better, uh, like, a better launch or, like, maybe if we could roll onto the runway. I'm going to try that this time, rolling on. And surprisingly enough, it will hook up at the top of third. Brake test! Brakes are good. Brakes are damn good. Alright, let's get a little bit of a roll on so we can kind of uh, eliminate that launch factor. See if we can be in the top of third by the time we touch the pavement so we can just nail it. Yep, perfect. Come on, come on! Into sixth. That's 250. 260. Come on, 270. 271. Uh, 271.36. I was really hoping to see 272. When you get up that, that far and like, oh my god. Dude, when you get up that high in speed on this runway, like, you're down to hundredths of a mile an hour when it comes to that speed trap. Like, it is ridiculous. Now I'm going to head to the highway and see um, see if I can get it to go any faster. I think I might be able to get it to touch 272. I don't know if I can get it to do 273, but I think I can definitely get it to touch 272. You know, it's actually surprisingly composed in third. I, I did not think... It was going to be that easy to control in third. I thought it was going to spin through fourth. God, we're already over two, uh, 240. This is the fastest freaking... I, I wouldn't call it the fastest car in the game, but it's the fastest accelerating car quite possibly that I've driven so far. It is nuts. We're already at 270. Just sitting there. God. That gets to 270 faster than I think anything I've ever driven here. 271. 272. Show me 273. Show me 273. It showed me 272 a couple times. Show me 273. Come on, show me 273. <laughs> that, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It showed me 272 miles an hour, and I'm pretty content with that. I mean, we know that this thing will do 271.36-ish on, um, on the runway, and then on the highway, I got it to do 272 I mean, I was really hoping for 273, but God, it is it is a fast freaking car. Like, it is a really, really, really fast car. Um, if you would like to build one of the fastest accelerating cars in the entirety of the game, this is quite possibly the fastest accelerating car I've ever driven, uh, then don't forget to, um, well, I was going to say don't forget to click the like button and all that sort of other stuff if you enjoyed it, but also don't, feel free to co go ahead and copy this setup and uh, use that same gearing and stuff like that, and you'll have a monster of a car. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.